good morning everybody this video is created by websoft creation in this video you will learn you you will learn that how we how we can create functions in sql server and how we can use those sql server functions in our c sharp code in this video i will create a function to check login that the user will give the username and password i'm talking about the end user user will send some username and password and uh, my function will check that uh, whatever pass username and password is given by uh, user is right or wrong if it is right then it should return some value and if it is not right then it, it will not be uh, written any kind of value so here i am going to start to create a function to create any sql function in sql server i have to write create function then my function name which is uh, check log okay i will give some variables name like username and where care i have given the size and the password which is my second uh, user defined uh, variable name password and the data type is and where care 50 right now it will return some value then i have to write the returns keyword and uh, the data type okay as begin first of all i will check the given values uh select count id from tbl Soft login where you name uh, I want to mention the table uh, my table have four fields ID you name and password and name and you name and password are username and password so you name is my field name and the user name is the variable name okay I have to use and operator password equals to password right if it is greater than 0 it means that username and password given by the user are right if it is greater than 0 then i will create a local variable to create any local variable we have to use the declare keyword declare then variable name which is uh, at the rate well okay and data type is integer now i will set the variable value variable well equals to i want to retrieve the name value name field value from the table select name from tbl underscore websoft underscore login where you name equals to username right else set at the rate well nothing return well and end so first of all i will check it whether it is working or not oh it's good it's working now if you want to check this function <coughs> how do you, how we will use this in sql server or oh sorry c sharp i'm checking here declare well one as and where care right 50 now set well one equals to dbo this is my database object name dbo dot then function name chk log right username are websoft this is my first username and this is my password right and print this value at the rate well 1 okay so check it out oh, it's giving some value uh, error db check log and where care said well and where care you uh, 
problem is that it's written the n vector value sorry n vector 50 right and check log is already created so I will change the name of check log now one executed okay it's written name value so if you see this table then the username is WebSoft and the password is creation and the full name is WebSoft creation okay so my check log one is my function name and it's working very good now I will use it in ASP.NET using C -sharp. so first of all I have to create a connection with the SQL server this is a very basic programming so all of you are aware with it now I have to create a SQL connection new SQL connection and server name my server name is SQL Express then database name database name is WebSoft uh, let me check it huh. yeah this is WebSoft now integrated security equals to SSPI okay uh. so I am going to design my web page this text box is for username another text box is for password and the button to check login and the label to return some show some output okay so start with it first of all you have to write your function name select dvo dot chk log one right and my parameter which is username and password right I have to use the SQL command object new SQL command S comma con I will add this parameters add with value and username sorry at the rate username and text box one this is my username value dot trim okay with my first argument then cmd dot parameters dot add with value to dot text dot trim our uh, trim function is used to uh, remove the blank spaces from the left and right part of text block right cmd parameters and uh, cmd dot command type this is not a stored procedure this is a function that that's why you have to put here command type text right and as we know that uh, execute scalar function of SQL command is used for so if uh, any SQL query is returning single value then you can use the execute scalar as we know that this function is returning the name of uh, use an, uh, name of the candidate and it is a single value that's why we can use here uh, as execute scalar function so <coughs> I have used the level 1 equals to uh, cmd dot execute scalar dot to string <coughs> I have to put to string because execute scalar returns uh, object value and uh, we can't directly pass the object value in the level 1 that's why I have to put here execute scalar to perform this action I have to first of all I have to mention the con dot open it will open my connection string and con dot cl close it will close my connection SQL connection ok so let's check it if I give 
plus soft cre creation so this is in the value and uh, second value is abc and xyz and the uh, name is john mark so abc xyz button john mark okay so this function is working correctly so in this video you learn that how we can create function in sql server and we can use these functions in asp.net c sharp it is a very important video for all the developers and beginners also so if you read this uh, if you want this code then you can directly access our uh, blog the blog is websoft creation blog spot in use of sql server user defined function this is my blog if you copy and paste this blog in my um, in your browser then you will see the all code which i have given in this video so thanks for watching this video and please keep in touch with us